Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Okay, so we're set up between centers because it's the only way I can make sure that this shaft is running true to the to the these surfaces out here. We've taken a, a skim cut and uh, we're off probably by oh I don't know probably six or eight or ten thousandths. But we got broom, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem. So let's start cutting. <laughs> Well, I'd say that bit is cooked. Probably. Okay, let's see if we can get another bit in on this. Yep, that's a bit seen better days. Okay. We're going to take a measurement here and we're trying for 3620 and what we have is 373620 so we have about 80 thousandths to take off. Before we take that full uh, size off, I think we should resolve this surface here and this one. So, I know we've come in a little short on this one. Uh, 225 and we are we would go we were going for uh, let's see what's our size here two twelve and we're going for one twenty 
and this is 265 and that's 300 okay so uh, I think we need to get the depth of this so first we want to get this then we get the depth of this then we get the depth of that all right was hitting back in that corner on the uh, tracer attachment so I think all we need to do is bring our bit in a little bit and uh, we won't hit All right, let's try this again. Yep, it's gonna hit. Okay, let's do it this way. All right, well, uh, cutting out this far put a lot of leverage on it, and our our dog came loose, and it macked up the threads or the uh, splines a little bit. So, but I think I can repair them. Uh, you know, well, you got to repair them, right? <laughs> so we're not going to cut out here uh, at this moment. We'll cut. Uh, you know, once I got out to about here, it started getting a lot of leverage, but I think all of that's going to go away. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, we've got six inches. So there's about six inches there. So a fair amount of that's going to go away. So I think we'll just ignore that for the moment. We're going to work on the shaft and the uh, radius. And the shaft is 875. And at the moment, we are sitting at 895. So we got 20 thousandths to take off of that shaft. 
and I think we can do that pretty easily. We better keep you in focus though, hadn't we? Okay. Okay, we're squared up. And we are sitting at 887. So that's good. Now, we want to take this bit out and we're going to work on that radius. Okay, it took about a half hour to set up to do this radius, but we're here and we got to travel real slow because we're sitting way out on the edge of this bit and uh, with a lot of uh, pressure against that uh, against the uh, piece itself. But a little bit of just very slowly. Okay, that was just too much pressure on that wide bit. So we're going to come in with a with a, a uh, uh, insert and uh, kind of whittle away at this a little bit. And even that is. Okay, well we can see there's a couple of glaring uh, breaks in the weld, so uh, looks like we got to come back in and re-weld that. So we'll come back in a while. All right, 
we got that little part welded right there now we're going to go in with the single point and just kind of sculpt it out a little bit to give the uh, the radius tool a little bit of a break Alright, so other than uh, that little screw up right there, this whole side is resolved. Well, we could uh, knock that edge off. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, done deal. Got one little one little dip right there, but I think that's far enough away from the weld that it's not going to be an issue. All right. So now we spin this around and do the other side and uh, we'll come back for the spinning around part and uh, we'll see you on the okay, other side. Okay so uh, this side's all set up we squared up to this face and this end so we're all set to go let's rip and I took a measurement of this thickness and I, we've got 10 thousandths to go. All right, we got a clean cut, but uh, it was jumping around there, so I'm hoping we got enough room to take a second, more even cut. And 260 is our number, and we are at 267. And we need 
265. Okay, so two thousandths. <laughs> All right, I can do two. And I think we might want to turn around and go in. Hmm. Well, that might not be a good idea. Because we've been coming back the whole time. Change directions. And it could have... All right. Okay, we got that surface done, and uh, and again, I mean, it jumped. Or it, it looks like it's got a little hollow in there, but this is the bolt surface. The bolts come through here, and go into the flywheel. So uh, this is all it has to be is square, in most of the part. So that little ten percent is not going to be a big deal. And let's see what we've got thickness wise. We got sixty six. I think we're good there. So now what we want to do is come in and take our measurement of this surface. Oh, <laughs> keep forgetting that. And that's probably a four inch. edges on it. Let's see if we can just come in and clean off those rough edges. Okay. Let's clean off that surface. Oh, we're doing the other one. <laughs> the next bigger one. And that size is four three eighty.
Okay, so we've got four, three eighty four inches, three hundred and eighty. So we've got a oh Jesus, it's uh I like my digital. It makes it so much fun. We're sitting at five something. Four four sixty. And why are we sitting here? Four four eighty. Let's get a better measurement here. Four four eighty. And we want or 380 so we got a, about a hundred thousandths to take off Okay, well next we need to get the width of this and the width of this is 120 thousandths and let's see what we got. <clears throat> We've got 229. So we got a hundred thousandths to go in there. Okay. Keep it ripping. See how much we got left to do here. And we're at 182. And we want 120. So we got 60 thousandths left. Okay, what do we got? Fifty six.
Okay, we got 10 more to go. Uh, I'm gonna save that last 10 for when I cut this and then I just do a, a sweep out from there. Now, we need to get our measurement from that. And that measurement is 3620. Okay. 372, no, yeah, so a hundred thousandths. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so this wants to go down to 120 also. Is it 120? 210. So this wants to come down to 210, which is uh, not too much smaller or a lot smaller than that so we're gonna and we're, we're worried about the radius getting in the way of the weld so I'm gonna taper this all the way out to the 210 uh, you know the whole distance and uh, I know that there's nothing in the way there so that'll be fine at least I hope <laughs> 